Nina Hopkins, 11 years old, was moved to a new school to be closer to home. One Sunday morning, the day before her first day of classes at her new school, she woke up, went to the bathroom and brushed her teeth, then went back to bed with her computer. Nina wasn't one of those motivated girls who got up with energy to open the window and let in the light, to take advantage of the morning to ride a bike. No, she simply enjoyed watching anime, listening to music, and playing the guitar, like rock, J-pop, pop. That Sunday, without much emotion, Nina wanted to reread for the thousandth time The Origin of Jeff the Killer. She loved creepy pasta, and Jeff was her favorite. She felt a strange attraction towards him. Every time she read it, she felt a strange impulse. While enjoying her reading, she suddenly heard the door. She looked up from the screen and met her little brother Chris in his beautiful green eyes. Chris was Nina's prince. She adored him and she used to call him that because every night, she told him fairy tales from the forest to put him to sleep. Chris had black hair and white skin, just like his late father. Instead, Nina was light brown hair and blue eyes. She was very similar to her mother. Chris was calling her to eat, so they went downstairs. The next morning, Nina and Chris started classes at their new school. Nina dressed in one of her favorite shirts, a black skirt, striped tights, and a purple sweater. As she put on her bag, she felt something strange, like a tug. Something strange was happening. A strange little smile formed on her mouth. When they got to school, the brothers split up to go to class. <laughs> In the break, they went to eat together. They chose a quiet and calm place in the back garden where there was hardly anyone. As they chewed on their sandwich, a much older, rough-looking girl approached. Oh, what do we have here? New students, the girl announced. My name is Claudia, and I rule this school. And if you don't obey what I say, you will pay dearly. She took a knife out of her jeans, and suddenly two boys came out of a nearby tree. They were Melkon and Yoni. Nina got up and stood in front of Chris to protect him. They didn't want any trouble. They just had a quiet lunch. The brothers had settled in the wrong area. It already had an owner. Chris didn't agree with that situation and got up. We haven't done anything. We're just here quietly eating. Suddenly, Yoni hit him and Chris fell into Nina's arms. Chris! Nina exclaimed, holding him in her arms. Nina hit Claudia in the face, knocking her to the ground, then pounced on her, taking the knife from her and stabbing it into Claudia's shoulder. Melkon held Nina from behind and caught her in his arms. Nina kicked him hard in the crotch of the boy knocking him to the ground. Nina defended herself as best as she could. Yoni ran out, but Nina grabbed the knife and threw it at him, stabbing him in the stomach. Nina, enough! She heard his brother's voice. Chris was scared and surprised. The brothers went home to change their clothes and wash them because they were stained with blood. Nina felt strange, like she had an incipient sense of killing. She opened her closet, finding her collection of Jeff the Killer posters, badges, some old notebooks, dolls, and stuffed animals. She looked at them with love and fear and said, Jeff, do you do this to me? After the incidents, they searched and searched for the culprits of the fight, but they didn't find them. They wouldn't think she was an 11-year-old girl like Nina. The weeks passed relatively quietly. One day, Nina opened her locker, finding a note that said, I know what you did, but don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You're clever, but dangerous. It had no signature. Nina was getting more and more unhinged. One afternoon, sweet Prince Chris came home beat up. Yoni, Claudia, and Melkon had taken revenge. Nina was on edge, but she barely controlled herself. When they returned to school, they found them in the corridor. The battle was brutal. Nina pushed Chris aside and ran into the cleaning room and picked up a knife. Her urge to kill grew by the moment. She left the room and went through Joni's head, which released a jet of blood. The blood fell on Nina's face, and there, just at that moment, something broke in Nina, like a thread, the thread that divided the madness of sanity. Claudia and Melcone took a few steps back. Nina turned to her side, showing a psychotic smile, making even Chris shiver. Nina went crazy, attacking them all. Nina, you feel good? Chris said, horrified. Nina turned around. Feeling all right. I feel excellent. Come on, my prince. We must go home. In the middle of the night, Nina got up and went to the kitchen. Where are you, Bleach? Nina growled, searching. Did you look for this? Nina heard a voice behind her. Turned around, and she was met with a comforting surprise to see a boy in the kitchen doorway holding the can of bleach. The boy had extremely white skin, 
His hair was black and singed, and he had a coarse and hideous smile. Oh, Jeff the Killer, pleaded Nita with a somewhat defiant look. I've been watching you. It seems to me that your head is already prepared. You're right. I need that bottle of bleach, if you'll excuse me, the girl added, shaking her hand for him to give it to her. Jeff opened it, then lit a match and threw it at her, causing Nina to burst into flames. Nina fainted and became unconscious. She woke up in the hospital next to her mother and her little brother. After a month of recovery, it was time to remove the bandages. Nina saw her mother's and brother's frightened faces. What? What happened? Sister, Chris said, hugging her. Y you keep yourself just as pretty as before. She ran to a mirror and saw that she had a white face and singed black hair like Jeff's, and she was very happy. Nina was no longer the innocent girl she had been. Now, she was a monster. <laughs> they went home, and Nina was happy with her new face, although she thought it would need some repairs, so she cut her face making a smile on her face. Then she took the knife and went to her mother's room and told her, Look mom, I'm beautiful. The scared mother ran away. Nina chased her and killed her. Chris saw her and got too scared. Chris, Chris, Chris. Little sister, are you okay? I'm better than ever. Oh, come on, Chris, come on. I wouldn't do anything to you. Don't worry, she said with a disturbing smile. You know, I feel more beautiful than ever. And I'll start a new life in the fairy forests. Do you want to come with me? Chris nodded. You just have to go to sleep, my prince. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you on the next episode.